Welcome to this online service of Compline in Holy Week, which has been arranged and facilitated for us by Tim Ruffer of the RSCM. My name is Chris Mawson. I'm uh, a retired priest in Somerset and also a diocesan representative in the new area team for that area. Uh, Rosemary Field is also with us. She's going to lead the responses. And as I'm sure many will know, she is the RSCM head of organ studies. All the words and music needed for viewers will be on the screen as the service proceeds. Please do join in the sections in bold and follow Rosemary's lead. And in the psalm, please join in the even numbered verses, leaving a pause at the colon. The service will proceed with a minimum of announcements uh, and some short spaces of silence will be provided uh, so that we can reflect and pray quietly together in God's presence. But before we begin, uh, two notices I've been asked to give out. One is that on Good Friday, there is the Way of the Cross being broadcast at 6.30 on the RSEM YouTube channel. You're very much and warmly invited to join in that. And that's an example of how the RSCM has been working hard to provide online resources like this one, and like many other organizations has been severely affected, uh, had severely reduced opportunities for its usual income streams. So please consider offering a donation to enable its work to continue in support of church music and musicians in these challenging times. There will be uh, information about how to do that at the end of the service. So we keep a moment quiet and pause as the service begins. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who hath made heaven and earth. Let us reflect together in silence on the day that is past, and on our keeping of this holy week. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord Grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.
Have mercy upon me, O God, and hearken unto my prayer. Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. O has set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me, and hearken unto my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye blaspheme mine honour? And have such pleasure in vanity, and seek after leasing. Know these also that the Lord hath chosen to himself the man that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart and in your chamber and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness. And put your trust in the Lord. Be many that say, Who will show us any God? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart since the time that they are called and wine and I will lay me down in peace and take my rest. For it is the Lord only that makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, and hearken unto my prayer.
Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. O thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an
Let us pray. Let us pray for the world, for Christians journeying through this Holy Week, for all who suffer, especially those enduring persecution and oppression for their faith, and all people afflicted by poverty, by this pandemic, and by climate crises. With faith and love and in union with Christ, let us offer our prayers before the throne of grace. Have mercy on all your people, Lord, for whom your Son laid down his life. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations, and have pity on those torn apart by division, hatred and violence. Strengthen all who are persecuted for your name's sake and deliver them from evil. Look in mercy upon all who suffer, and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation this night. Bring comfort to the dying and those who care for them, and strengthen their hearts with the vision of your glory. Give rest to the departed, especially any we name before you this night, and bring with them and with us and your saints to glory everlasting. So let us commend the world for which Christ died to the mercy and protection of God. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour did rest in the sepulchre and did thereby sanctify the grave to be a bed of hope to thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of thy passion that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, 
one God, world without end. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord. For it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us.